Hey, what's up guys? My name is Kai and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make keybinds for your game in Unreal. Quick disclaimer before we begin. This guide only covers versions of Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 5.0.3 because Epic decided to revamp the keybind system in the patch 5.1 and going forward they will be using that system. So if you are using 5.1 or above, this guide will not work for you. So there's primary two methods to create keybinds. We are gonna go over both of these methods because they both have their pros and cons. So let's get into it and start off with the first method, which is called hard coding. So just to quickly explain what the hard coding is, it basically means that the keybind is hard coded into the game. That means it can't be really changed by the player. So for that, I'm gonna go into my character and I'm gonna go into event graph. And I already have the print string node here, which we are gonna use to test the keybinds. And the hard coding is actually super simple. You're just gonna right click and you're gonna search for keyboard event. And then you just look up the keyboard button that you want to keybind this to. So I'm just gonna search for tab because I want to keybind it to tab button on my keyboard. And then you just hook up whatever code you want this to trigger to the keyboard event. You're gonna compile. And now when I hit play, you're gonna see that now when I press tab, it prints the string and each time I press it, it's gonna print it again. Now, what's the pros and cons? Well, the pros is kind of obvious. It's super easy to create. And generally the main use this has is that when you are making games and you are prototyping some kind of system or a mechanic, you don't necessarily want to go through the process of creating a new keybind without knowing the system actually works. That's why you hard code it to just some random button, test it until it works, and then once you are sure this is actually gonna make the cut, so to speak, you go to the second method and create a proper keybind. Speaking of which, let's create that keybind. And the way we are gonna create this, it's actually also quite simple. So on the left top corner, we are gonna go into edit and then project settings. Then in the project settings on the left side, you're gonna have engine project game. And we want to under engine, scroll down and search for input. Click on that. And now we can create some keybinds. So under bindings, we have two different uh, keybinds we can create. We have access mappings and action mappings. Ac access mappings are basically movement based and they work in a different way. So I'm not gonna go over those because we are not gonna use those to create the actual keybind. What we are gonna use is action mappings. And action mappings is basically your regular keybind, which means you press a button, action happens. So to create a keybind, you just click on the plus here. Then you can name your keybind whatever you want. So I'm gonna just uh, call mine print string, like so. And then here we can uh, select the drop down menu and just pick whatever we want. So if I go into tab, I can select that when I press tab, this event will happen. Now on the right side, we have some buttons here. And this basically means is that when we check this first button, for example, the way the key button is going to work is it's not going to work when we just press tab. It's going to only work when we press shift plus tab. This is how you basically create combo keybind, so to speak, however you want to call it. So first it starts with shift and control, alt, command, etc. And another thing to note here is that within the keybind, we can also add a number of buttons. So I'm going to just click on the plus here next to the keybind's name. And now I can search for a different button. So I'm just going to search for, let's say, T. And I'm just going to scroll down, point T. And now this action is actually keybound to two different keybinds. So how do we use the keybinds? For that, I'm going to go back into my character. And now I'm going to search for the keybind we created. So in the project settings, we call this print string. So now I'm just going to right click and I'm going to search for print string. And as you can see, under input in action events, we have print string which we created. Then I can just plug it into the print string, compile, hit play. And now when I press tab, it prints the string because we he binded it to tab. But when I press T, it also prints the string because I remember in the project settings, we created two key binds for that specific action. So that's how it works. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching. See ya.